The Ruin of Cash by Roberto Colasso is a dense and thought-provoking novel that defies easy categorization. Published in 1983, this unique work blends elements of history, philosophy, mythology, and fiction to create a narrative that challenges the boundaries of conventional storytelling. Colasso weaves together a tapestry of ideas and characters to explore themes of power, knowledge, and the inexorable passage of time. At its core, The Ruin of Cash is a meditation on the nature of power and its impact on human society. The novel takes as its starting point the story of the Cash, a mythical king who ruled an ancient civilization. Colosso uses this tale as a framework to examine the ways in which power is acquired, exercised, and ultimately destroyed. Through the lens of the cash, the author delves into the complex dynamics of politics and governance, shedding light on the cyclical nature of power and its tendency to lead to its own downfall. The narrative structure of the novel is non-linear, and Colosso frequently shifts between different historical periods and characters. This fragmented storytelling mirrors the fragmented nature of human history and knowledge itself, highlighting the interconnectedness of events and ideas across time. The reader encounters a wide array of historical figures, from Napoleon to Bismarck, from Nietzsche to Wagner, all of whom are linked by their pursuit of power and their impact on the course of history. One of the most striking aspects of The Ruin of Cash is Colosso's erudition and his ability to seamlessly integrate a vast array of sources and references into the narrative. The novel is a veritable treasure trove of historical anecdotes, philosophical musings, and mythological allusions. Colosso's encyclopedic knowledge is on full display as he draws on texts from a wide range of cultures and time periods, creating a rich tapestry of ideas that invites readers to delve deeper into the layers of meaning within the text. The novel also explores the theme of knowledge and its relationship to power. Colosso suggests that knowledge, like power, is a double-edged sword that can both empower and destroy. Throughout the book, characters grapple with the consequences of their pursuit of knowledge, whether it be through scientific discovery, artistic creation, or philosophical inquiry. Colosso challenges us to consider the ethical implications of knowledge and the responsibilities that come with it. Colosso's prose is both poetic and philosophical, and his writing invites readers to engage in deep contemplation. The novel is not a quick or easy read, and it requires a willingness to grapple with complex ideas and intricate language. However, for those who are willing to invest the time and effort, The Ruin of Cash offers a rich and rewarding intellectual experience. The novel's title, The Ruin of Cash, serves as a metaphor for the inevitable decline and fall of all empires and civilizations. Colosso suggests that the pursuit of power, while alluring, ultimately leads to destruction and decay. The image of a ruined city serves as a powerful reminder of the transience of human achievements and the futility of seeking to control the inexorable forces of history. In conclusion, The Ruin of Cash by Roberto Colosso is a challenging and intellectually stimulating novel that defies easy categorization. It is a work that demands careful reading and rewards those who are willing to engage with its complex themes and ideas. Through its exploration of power, knowledge, and the passage of time, the novel offers a profound meditation on the human condition and the eternal quest for meaning and significance in the face of inevitable decay and ruin. Colosso's erudition and poetic prose make this novel a remarkable literary achievement that continues to captivate and provoke readers to this day.